and another video from Dave. What's up, YouTube? This is Dave setting up point seven. This is another video to do with. American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, Episode 1, From Ashes of Tragedy, Review, and another video from Dave. And yeah, um, pretty much this is my review for American Crime Story. It's a new show that just started. Uh, Ryan Murphy, the person who makes American Horror Story and Glee, started American Crime Story. Um, this is a show I've been waiting for a while now. Um... And, you know, it actually met my expectations and even exceeded them. And I'm very surprised because I was like, how much more can they tell us about the O.J. Simpson trial that we don't know? And I was wrong. They can. <laughs> um, but first, let me get this out of the way. If you came to this channel and you're a first-time person to this channel and, you know, for this review and you notice you see a lot of gaming stuff, I do gaming stuff also. I've been wanting to do movie uh, reviews and TV show reviews, and I do the Movie Tweaker podcast. I'm just taking it one step at a time. Back when I first started this channel, I tried doing everything. You know, I tried doing movie reviews, TV show reviews, and I took on too much. So I took them out and basically just stuck to gaming and basically started up the, uh, you know, Movie uh, Tweaker podcast. That's going good. Um, now I'm going to be doing my, well, I did a couple movie reviews, now I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, TV show reviews. So you'll see more stuff over time, and then it'll all blend in, and you'll notice this is a movie review and TV show review, and, you know, movie and TV show podcast channel also, I do it all. <laughs> it's hard, you know, it's hard. A lot of people don't realize how hard YouTube is, like, at times, to do certain things, what you want with everyday life, you know. Uh, it's hard to mix it all and, you know, do what you want to do in videos, but I have to say this is a very challenging video because um, I don't know how to really go about it. I don't want to spoil it because if you are new to the OJ trial and you, and uh, to me, you would have to be from this generation to be new to the OJ trial and not understand or know what went on because I'm from the 90s and if you lived in the 90s, I find it very hard to believe that you don't know the OJ trial unless you just didn't put, pay attention to social media at all, you know, or watch the news or nothing, you know. You had to be living under a rock. <laughs> um pretty much when I was in middle school, I'll say this too. I actually got the pleasure of meeting OJ Simpson. Um basically, I was in middle school he came to our school for an assembly and basically talked to us about drugs. He was at a party and somebody passed him drugs and basically he, you know, turned him down and basically told us a whole story about not to do drugs. I actually got to shake his hand and I actually got an autograph from him. Me and my friend and the principal took the autograph, made copies of it and supposedly ripped it up. <laughs> I don't know if he did or not. He probably has that autograph to, to this day. Uh, but yeah. I actually got to meet OJ, and that was six months before this all happened. So it was kind of crazy. I remember when it all went down, I told my mom, I was like, oh, that was the guy who came to our school. <laughs> you know, and he was a big thing back in the day, OJ. He was the juice. He's a big football player. You know, and he was even in the movie The Naked Gun. You know, so he was an actor and, you know, football player. Big thing. You know, he had a lot of endorsements. I think he was on the, you know, he was on the Wheaties boxes and everything. A lot of people loved OJ, the juice. Um... Basically, this episode, what this episode shows you, um, well, first, let me get into the actors. Let me cover that first. So, you got John Travolta as Robert Shapiro. I have to say, this cast is an all-star cast, and their acting, you know, or if I rate their acting from a 1 to a 10, they're on the level of a 10. You know, pretty much all of them outside of a few. John Travolta nails it as Robert Shapiro. Uh, I, I think he's... What better person to pick than him? I was a little, I had a little bit of a doubt, you know, with him as Robert Shapiro, but he plays the part to a T, you know. <laughs> so he does great. Cuba Gooding Jr., that was one I really had doubt with um, because I was like, he don't really look like OJ, but he nails the fucking part. Cuba Gooding Jr. is a great actor, you know. I didn't expect him to be a bad actor, but it just like, how is he going to pull off the role of OJ? But he does it. The only one that I have an issue, there's two of them. Uh, the guy that plays Robert Kardashian, uh, David Swimer, I think I'm saying his last name right. Nah, I'm not really buying it. And one I'm definitely not buying is uh, Selma Blair that plays Kris Jenner. 
And one thing I noticed with this show, they're really pushing the Kardashians on you. One thing you gotta take into consideration, the Kardashians was not an issue. Like, they weren't nothing back then. They weren't they weren't as popular as they are. They weren't they weren't even really popular. The only one that was really anything to talk about was Robert Kardashian. But they're making you aware of uh like um Chloe and, and Courtney there at the funeral in this episode, uh, and they're like pointing their names out. Same thing with Chris Jenner. Uh, you know, they even have a scene which I'm not trying to spoil anything, but there's a scene that takes place with OJ and uh Robert Kardashian in Kim's bedroom, and they pointed out, you know, like, hey, this is my kid's bedroom, you know, it's Kimmy's bedroom, you know, they, you know, they're really pushing the Kardashians on this thing, and the Kardashians were not a big thing around this trial. Um, so yeah, I would say, you know, too, with act with the actors, you got Johnny Carlin, Car Coughlin, that's paid by uh, Courtney B. Vance, nails it. Um, the best one I would say out of all of them is Sarah Paulsman as Marsha Clark. She's a fantastic actress anyways. She, you know, does American Horror Story. I think all her roles, even if it's a season I don't like, I still have to give it to her. She's a great actress. And I think she will win an Emmy this, you know, time for this role. She, out of all of the actors in this show and actresses, uh, so far from what I've seen, we didn't see them all yet, but I would say she nails the part, you know, as Marsha Clark. Um, in this episode, you'll see... You know, basically from the get-go of, like, when the murders took place to the infamous Bronco chase. You know, um, you'll see when they interrogated him, uh, the funeral that takes place, um, uh, what else? You know, how they messed up evidence, you know, how they had such great evidence, you know, and they, you know, like I said, messed it up. You see it all in this episode. Um... Pretty much, I'd have to say, if I had to rate this episode, I would give it, and, and this is the first episode I'm giving this, because, you know, in this episode, not many shows, you know, not many shows do this, you know, from their first pilot episode, you know, from the beginning of the episode, you're watching it, and the whole hour, it is an hour long, and it's like the hour just goes right by, you know, that's when you're watching a good show, and I have to score this a 10 out of 10 for the first episode. Um... I would say, too, another thing I want to mention before, you know, I end this review, um, the next, the next episode will be called The Run of His Life, you know, it's going to be all about the, uh, Bronco Chase, now, a lot of stuff to do with this show, I would say, is true, a lot of it, but I would say if I had to give a percentage, I'd say it'd be, like, 75-25, you know, 75 stuff true, 25%, uh, 75% true, 25%, you know, bullshit, because it's made for TV, you know, because there's one scene in the show where basically OJ's eating a burger with Kato Caitlin, and he goes, man, he goes, you love them burgers, Kato, <laughs> you know, and, and they had Kato Caitlin on a TV show, and he says, I don't even eat red meat, you know, so that's bullshit, you know, and the guy that, and that's one person I definitely want to talk about, the guy that plays Kato Caitlin, um, his name is, uh, Billy Magison. He, they, they basically have that guy out, like, Kato Caitlin's portrayed as a, like, it's almost like, like, Wayne's World, that he, even he said on the TV show, it looks like Garth from Wayne's World, like a stoner or something. You know, even when he's being questioned on the stand, you know, there's a part in the show where Marsha Clark is questioning him, she's, like, asking him a bunch of questions, and he's like, I take the fifth, I take the fifth, I take the fifth. And she's like, you are not a suspect. You are a witness. You cannot take the fifth. And there's even a, the same scene with the burger scene. He's calling OJ. And there's some humor in this show, too. Basically, he's calling OJ. He's like, hey, Juice, want some juice? You know, because they called OJ Simpson the juice. So there is there is some shit that's funny in the show, too. Um, but, yeah, it basically leaves off with the infamous um, Bronco chase. That's going to be the next episode. And they're going to probably tell us you know, what went on with the Bronco, you know, what, what went in, because I remember the previews of the show, they're like, you will know what's going on inside the Bronco, you know, and really nobody knows what went on inside the Bronco other than OJ and Al Callings, you know, his friend, his football player friend, but yeah, um, everybody's played to a T, we didn't see, like, you know, Ronald Goldman's family yet or any of them, but not everybody, this was mainly, this episode was mainly focused on, you know, basically how Robert Shapiro and OJ, how they started, 
Uh, they have the murder scene. They have the police investigation. They have uh, the wedding. Or not the wedding, my bad. The uh, funeral. Um, basically stuff to do with OJ. What, what his emotions were going through, you know, and stuff. This, and is you know what was what he was feeling when you know this all went down um one thing they do i will say before in this review they make it very aware even from the beginning of the episode that this was around the time of the rodney king uh incident because this was right before rodney king and all the riots no after my bad this was right at after rodney king and all the uh the riots that went on and, I, and I, they show you how race did have a factor with this show. And I'm trying not to spoil it, but I think I did the best job I could. Sorry, guys, if I did. I will be talking more about this show possibly um, tonight in the Dave and Bear show. And for sure in the movie Tweaker podcast. You know, um, I want to cover more and go into spoilers and stuff like that. But I try to keep it spoiler free. Um, tell me what you think. Did you see American Crime Story of People versus O.J. Simpson? Tell me what you think in the comment section. More videos to come later.